completed viewing stand. Mining began in Butte in 1864, and by the turn of the century, the copper produced from this hill, called the richest hill on earth, not only electrified America, but also financed the Industrial Revolution. By the 1950s, millions of pounds of ore had been extracted from the Butte Hill. By then, however, the Anaconda Company determined that conventional mining techniques were no longer a cost-effective way of extracting ore. The richest veins of ore were located in the area where the Berkeley Pit now sits. Plans to enlarge the open pit along Butte's east side surfaced in 1952. That decision would affect several historic neighborhoods, including Meaderville, McQueen, and Dublin Gulch. They were all swallowed up by mining expansion. And while painful, most folks realized that Butte's economic stability relied on mining. It was a simple fact. If the pit did not produce, it would cost every miner's family their livelihood. Digging in the open pit began in 1954, and one year later, the first load of ore was shipped to the nearby town of Anaconda for smelting. In 1963, the Anaconda Company completed construction on a multi-million dollar facility to concentrate nearly 45,000 tons of ore each day. This concentrator can be seen to the east of the viewing stand. The pit grew to become not only the largest truck-operated open pit mine in the United States, but also the richest copper mine. Approximately 1.4 billion tons of ore were extracted from the Berkeley pit. In 1977, the Atlantic Richfield Company purchased the pit along with several other mining operations from the Anaconda Company. By 1982, the price of copper had fallen so much that the Berkeley pit was shut down. On April 20, 1983, the decision was made to turn off the pumps that were diverting water from the pit and other underground mine shafts. That water would preserve the mine for future use, conserve costly electricity, and prevent the pit walls from caving in. The year 1986 was the start of a new era of mining in Butte, Montana. Montana Resources Incorporated has been mining copper and several other minerals from the Continental Pit located to the east of the viewing stand. If you look closely, you can see the operation going on right now. The Berkeley Pit is more than 7,000 feet long, 5,600 feet wide, and more than 1,800 feet deep. According to a 1994 record of decision set by state and national environmental agencies, the pit water is safely below the bedrock level and will be safely treated before it ever reaches that point. The most recent data confirms what is called the critical water level sometime near the year 2023. It's hard to imagine, but Butte's mining workforce was able to weather yet another storm at the beginning of the 21st century. A sudden spike in energy prices and low copper prices on the world market forced a mine closure from the year 2000 to 2003. During the shutdown, Montana Resources partnered with the Atlantic Richfield Company to build a multi-million dollar state-of-the-art water treatment facility. If you look to the northeast, you will see two green colored silos. This is the Horseshoe Bend Water Treatment Plant. It is a two-stage lime treatment structure using the latest technology to treat the pit surface water and use it in mining operations. Right now, Montana Resources is mining copper from the pit, pumping out about 13 million gallons of pit water a day, or about 10,000 gallons a minute. To learn more about the Berkeley Pit or about the cleanup process, be sure to read the informational signs located here in the viewing stand. Or you can pick up a copy of Pit Watch, a locally produced newspaper documenting the history and ongoing cleanup here at the pit. You can even see and touch some of the rocks and minerals extracted from the pit inside the Butte Copper Company gift shop located outside the viewing stand. While you're outside the viewing stand, please take a moment and relax at our newest addition to the Berkeley Pit. Thanks to the Butte Chamber of Commerce, Montana Resources, Butte's local government, 
and many local citizens, we are proud to offer visitors like you a brand new rest area. Take five in our beautiful picnic area. Examine the old trolley. Find a few copper treasures inside the copper shop and even take some pictures of our newest botanical garden. You can visit the View Chamber of Commerce on George Street for more information about our local museums, historic sites, and special tours that will help you learn more about our historic city. Thank you for visiting today, and we hope to see you again soon.